Liam was offered a major contract to walk the runways for Calvin Klein. But two weeks before the shows, he broke his nose playing football in London, and the modelling deal was off. Question is, can his twin interests coexist? If you say the name Liam Vandyard in London, they'll tell you he's a model. But if you say that name in Hamburg, Germany, they'll tell you he's a football player. But if you put the two together, he's sort of like the Beckham of Altona 93. <laughs> what was that, man? Hey, how you doing, man? Hey, how's it going, sir? Good. Yeah. Well, you'd rather say, how's it, what? Uh, yeah, good to hear the accent again. <laughs> now, dude, tell me, why did you come to Germany to play football? They've got really good development football football clubs here, and um, the training's really good. As well as it's very central. It's in Europe. I'm able to fly out for jobs directly to London, to New York. It's, it's a lot closer than being in South Africa, so I can play football as well as do modeling when I need to. Well, speaking of modeling, I heard that you got discovered on Facebook. Yeah, funny enough, I did. I got discovered on a friend's photo on Facebook. I got called by the agency in London, uh, Next Models, and basically got told to get on the next flights out and, and go to London. I should start taking my Facebook pics a lot more seriously now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it can't hurt you. Eh? I got a really nice surprise, and this is where it's brought me, so I'm very grateful. Liam's a striker in the mold of the players in Europe. Tall, physical and very fit. So Simo, what we're doing here is working on your, on your speed. It's a resistance training. Um, so you've got the rope here holding you back. So it's mainly about trying to get as much resistance as you can. And this helps m mostly with your speed as well as uh, obviously fitness as well. Dude, I want to hear more about your football career. Didn't you just start in Germany of course, right? No, um, my football career didn't start in Germany. I was playing at uh, Bitvers Witz in Johannesburg for three years. I then decided to have my hand in European football, so I came over to Germany to see how I could play over here. Liam's father is a Manchester United fan who got his son playing from the age of three, and it shows. <laughs> I, I, I can't work like this. I mean, you guys at home know that I beat Raymond Krull in a sprint, I bounced Sio Khaleesi, but I can't save penalties from you. What's the problem? Ah, oh, so I think it's just the luck of the day. Yeah? How about I make it up to you? Be great. Sharing a house in Hamburg with one of his best friends, this has been Liam's base for eight months. He misses his parents and three brothers, Kai, Dane and Travis, but clearly he's loving his independence. This is, so this is home, man. Yeah, this is it. You're welcome. And I see you've got a little picture of Taylor Mountain just to remind you of home. Yeah, you know, it's that extra bit of motivation when you wake up and see where I come from. I don't know about you, but uh, let's get cleaned up and I'll see you in the kitchen in about 20 minutes. Ladies, you see what I do for you? You can thank me later. This is a physique fueled on lots of pasta, fish and vegetables. And being an avid cook, Liam offered to make a chicken curry. His inspiration is Durban background. What do you know about a curry? I know quite a bit about a curry actually. Um, I've got an Indian background. My father is Indian and um, my mother is white. So I've grown up with very different contrasts in food between the two of them. Hey man, what kind? Who would have ever thought it? Hey bro, don't, don't tell me anything bro. I'll tell you how to make a good curry now. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> see, I can really see that you know what you're doing, eh? We've opened up a family restaurant now in, in Cape Town. I had a bit of experience in the kitchen. My dad taught me some of the curries that we do there. So I've learned one or two things. See, that's the sort of stuff that makes my fellow presenters cry, but I love it. Was it difficult to adjust to the modeling side of things, or were you always just a bit of a poser? I don't know, maybe if you ask my friends, you'll get a different response than what I'll give you, but um, I would say it was quite an adjustment for me. I mean, my whole life I've been a footballer, you know? It's always been about training, and, and, that, and that's it, you know? My friends were going out on the Friday night, I was sleeping for the game on the Saturday. It was quite an adjustment, um, becoming a model and leaving that behind in a way, you know? Yeah, so I'm glad to be in the position I am and be able to do both at the moment. He's inherited his grandmother's generous spirit for spoiling guests with Indian cooking, while his parents, Invin and Merrill, are his chief motivating influence. Hmm, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. One thing I've noticed that I haven't asked you about is the tattoos. This tattoo on my, on my right hand side, this one's the number 11. It's uh, the jersey number that I play with. When I'm not playing, at least I have it on my arm. So if I don't have it on my jersey, I still feel like uh, I've got my lucky number. This one is a Spanish motto. It says, Domine o se dominado. But uh, I'll keep that a secret. And uh, this one is it's just a, a cross. Um, my mom has got it on this hand. So it's just something we did together. Sitting on Germany's north coast, Hamburg has waterways everywhere. 
And whilst Liam says his German is only basic, it was good enough to organize a paddle boat ride down the Ulster River. How much of a struggle is this thing? Yeah, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to do this one again. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> I think let's take a break. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Dude, I know it's only been a short career, but any highlights in your modeling career? Yeah, I'd have to say the one that stands out for me is I was in the British GQ. I did 10 pages for Tom Ford. Wow. Yeah, that was the main standout for me um, and a really special moment. That is huge. I mean, having your name alongside Tom Ford in GQ, it's a really big deal. Yeah, it is a really big deal. And um, I was very fortunate because it happened after two weeks of being in the UK. Uh, so my first trip overseas for modeling and I landed this really big gig and really exciting moment for me. But dude, listen, I am thirsty from all of this. I think this time we head back and get a drink. Uh, sounds like a plan to me. Let's yeah, it. Yeah. let's go. Why not? Hamburg was where the Beatles cut their teeth as a live band. And the city still has top nightlife. While Liam's right at home here, life's getting pretty hectic. Just before we arrived, he'd done three different campaign shoots in less than a week. He's also in talks with a few UK soccer clubs to move there. So London and New York are calling. But for today, he's still happy to be in Hamburg. Dude, you're just 21, you've already achieved so much. What does the future hold? At this point, I'm just taking it one day at a time, you know, and um, just living for the moment. It's worked for me for the last year and a half, and it's only going to bring surprises, and I'm happy with that. Now that he's met and been dating Dutch model Leila Muriel, it's all falling into place. Liam Vandia is seeing the whole of the moon. <laughs>